Hi guys and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to use these live crabs and you know not cook them but you know to clean them and all that other stuff. I'm going to teach you how to do that. So we got our live crabs. We're going to start with a nice pot of boiling water. Just enough water where it's going to cover your crabs. We're going to get that water going to a nice boil. You do not have to salt the water but you can. Then we're going to take these lovely live mother suckers. Look at them. Oh. They dangerous, y'all. Y'all be careful. So I am using longer tongs. Keep the crab away from me with their paws. And I'm just going to add it into that hot water. You're just going to put it right into that hot water. It's going to turn a nice red color. We don't want it to turn too red. Just a little red where we know that it's killed, that the, you know, the crabs are dead. And then, look, I got a sink full of ice water. Nice cold water so I can shock these crabs from cooking and clean the inside of them. Now I'm going to show you guys how to clean the inside. So these live blue crabs are now dead live blue crabs because they're not frozen, right? So I'm just going to open the back end like so. And when you open the back end, you're going to see there's an indention in between that last leg and the half shell. And we're just going to pull that off of each other. That's the top half and the bottom half. It's simply two pieces, a hard shell on top of the organs. Just put the tape and rip the whole shell off. I have some water, you guys remember with that ice water, and I'm just taking and shaking the, the inside of that orange, which is like their organs, their poop, uh, their lungs, and we call the lungs a dead man. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why. I'm gonna Google that and, and put it in details why we call it the dead man. Then I turned on the water and just continue to rinse all that out and repeat for all the rest of the blue crabs. And then you just add these blue crabs to whatever recipe you're cooking. Remember, seafood does not take long to cook, so you add seafood at the last bit. But I'm gonna take my crab, open them, clean them, and I'm gonna freeze them. You put it in a Ziploc bag, they can stay frozen for up to five months before you use them. And if you freeze them really good, it can last longer. It all depends on you. My grandmother says food doesn't have expiration as long as you take care of them like you're supposed to. So yeah, there's no chemicals I'm using to um, freeze it. So yeah, I'm just gonna put in a Ziploc bag, take the air out of that Ziploc bag and freeze it again. Repeat to the next one, just gonna open that back in and rinse all that orange stuff out of it. And there we have it. Thank you guys for watching, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if there's something you wanna see me cook with these blue crabs. You can find my video on how to make gumbo and I added live blue crabs to my gumbo. That is on the YouTube channel, of course, or you can buy my cookbook, which is on Amazon, available now for only $11, Holiday Hustle. And there we have it, some nice, clean, blue, fresh crabs.